Hello. Hey. <laughs> Yo, you cool. Got my haircut. Looking sharp. Moles and stoic. Percent composition. Ooh, percent, percent. Uh, part over whole times 100. Yep. And we're going to do that to analyze compounds percent composition using that gram formula mass that we learned so much about. A little bit of math. And um, we're going to be able to tell you at the end of it, this compound is this percent hydrogen, this percent oxygen, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We already said this. Part over whole times 100. That's, That's the base. Generic mm -hmm. percent of anything. Right. So in this case, for gram formula mass and percent composition of molecules, we're going to have the whole being the gram formula mass for the compound. Correct. And in the hydrate, we'll see it's the whole thing. And the part is what I'm looking for. So if I'm talking about what is the percent nitrogen in yada, 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 or the percent oxygen, I'll take that mass of all of those kinds of elements. Mm -hmm. And then that's my part. Divide it by the whole. Divide it by the 100. You get to go. Well, here we go. Show me a periodic table. I got, I got you. got me? I, I can you. remember some of these here. I know. Well, you got to go back in this. Mm -hmm. All right. So he's going to find the step one, gram GFM. formula mass, right? Yep. So he's going to go Na is 20. He's got 1 times 23. Mm -hmm. 19. And then 1 times 19. And then he's good there. That's some easy math. Then he's got to add them things up. This is the math 30, that's 42. challenging to some chemistry teachers. So this Not is all the of whole. Us. That's the whole. And now what we're going to ask you to do in these uh, examples is to do both. Do percent Na and do percent N, percent F. And the nice part is, is that your part for Na is already calculated. And I'm going to put 23 there. Because 23 is how much Na is in this particular molecule. And then the whole is 42. So 23 divided by 42 times 100 would be your percent, your answer. So right. equals blank percent nitrogen. Ah, you do. You do. Okay, let's you do, do. Let's do percent fluorine since we're there. Percent fluorine is going to be not 23. But now 19 because the mass of fluorine, which is the part now when we're talking about percent fluorine, over the same total times 100. Now we got another number. Good. And to check your answer... They should both add up to 100. 100. Yeah, because that is the whole. The whole was just the two elements, so that's what it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we should probably skip a couple of these examples. Or do you okay. want to do all four? I mean, H2O is done exactly the same way as NAF. Yeah, let's let's do let's go down to the, the polyatomic. Yeah, let's go down to that. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so we got hydrogen. One nice. GFM. All right. So. Now, this is a slightly more complicated because not only is it a polyatomic, but there's two of the polyatomic. So I see no number with calcium, so it's one. And calcium's got a mass of 40, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, 40. And then nitrogen, he distributed that two. So remember, the parentheses on the NO3 means that there's two NO3s. So there's two N's times 14, and then six oxygens times 16. And we got to add this all up. Is 14, 164. 164. Grams per mole. And See? that is our whole. Right. And this is, notice he's being religious about this. We've done this on previous videos. We're always going to put that grams per mole in there because we need those units. Okay. Units will always be our guide. So now percent CA, and that's going to be 40 because that's the mass of my part over 164 times 100. We'll put that right up over our heads. Yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah. Save some space. There you go. Right? Circle that up for Percent calcium. Like yes, the others. Sir. yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, percent nitrogen. My part nitrogen is going to be 28, not 14. There are two nitrogens. So it's going to be 28 over 164 times 100 gives me some idea. percent nitrogen. Or some percent. Ah, well, since we're at it, let's do the oxygen too. We'll set it up. Percent oxygen now is... 96, the total oxygen weighs 96 over 164 times 100, and there we go. So what we are looking for is that every one of these is done on this page. Yes. Did you hear me now? Mm -hmm. say, say it one more time. Every one of them is done on the page to get full credit for this lecture. But we're yeah. going to continue. We're going to move on to percent composition of hydrates because yeah. we have a few more minutes with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hydrates. This is the guy where the water is infused into the chemical compound. Absolutely. It's locked up in the crystal surface. So, again, we're going to calculate the gram formula mass, but here's the trick. We don't multiply those masses by that water. That dot, this one right here, 
That's just the ratio symbol in, the, in this equation. It means for every one copper sulfate, there's five waters. So that do, it doesn't mean we multiply those masses together, okay? That's the most common mistake. Mm -hmm. okay. Part Step two, we'll do the part divided by the whole times 100. Good. And in this case for hydrates, the part is the total mass of water. So we're not going to ask you what percent by mass is copper in the copper sulfate pentahydrate. We're going to ask what percent by mass is the water molecules in the copper sulfate pentahydrate. Right. And since we're talking about that, you might as well pay very close attention because guess what lead is all about. Yep. So here we go. I have, we have to calculate the gram formula mass of copper sulfate with five waters. So copper, there's one of them. And copper be weighing 65. 65. 65. 4. 64. 64. All right. You bet. I would thought I was right in. Uh, no, no. 64. Five. That's okay. Remember sulfur, though? 32. Good. Facts. We all know oxygen at this point. And then good. here's another important one. Ooh, water. Water always comes out to 18. 18. So and there five are times five 18. of them. There times you go. The 18. There you go. Cool, cool. So 64, 32, 16. Oh, I did, uh, oops, it's not one, it's four times 16. Oh, I made yeah. a mistake there. So 32, 64. Why'd you put a zero? Oh, I made a mistake, Aru. There we go. Four times 16. There Beautiful. we go. 64, and that's five times 18. 18. Oh, 90. gosh. 90. Is it yeah. 40 and 5? Well, it's half of 180. So 90, you're right. I like you. Love it. I like the way you do it. Add them up. Height. 90 and 64 uh, is 154. 8 and 10. Eight and, ten. <laughs> and then, right? 8 yep, and 10, 10. And then 10 in there. And then 12 is 250. 250. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. 250. Grams per mole. And that is Phew. our whole. So that's the gram formula mass of this hydrate. So we want to do percent water. So now what we're going to do is take the, the part that is water. In this case, it's 90 because five waters weighs 90. Okay, and then times 100, and I boom. Cool. That's the percent water. And that's your... Because it's lead, you want to set this next one up too? For sure. For right, sure. So step one is what's going to take you most of your time. Yes. Recalculating these... Gram formula masses. And again, you need to be able to count the atoms correctly. Then you need to apply the correct masses, rounded properly... Or everything is going to go haywire. So calcium is, I got one of them times 40. Chlorine, I see two of them, and they're times 35. And then I see two waters, and we're going to remember that we've done this a lot. Water is 18. 36. 36. Adding it all up. I see 146. 146. Gotcha. Grams per, per mole. And that's Good. our hole. There you go. That's the hole. Now, two waters is 36. The nice part about doing it this way, too, is that the part's already done for you. The water part is 36 over 146 times 100 equals some number that you're calculating in your calculator. Use your phone if you have to. But you need the actual numbers in that space. Mm -hmm. If what we see is blank this. line with a circle, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna not pretend you're paying you attention. Oh. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Yeah, what he said. Mm -hmm. And I got a feeling though. That's all first. Yeah, so this is percent copper mole, mm -hmm. and it's lab. This is yeah, the hydrate That's lab. And um, the hydrate lab. Do you still do the smarties? I took it out of there because it didn't take long enough to do the hydrate. For my kiddos. So I'm leaving my name because my lab's been short. So yeah, you get smarties cool. in my lab. Yep. So remember, part divided by whole times 100 is your percent calculation. For it percent is anything. Really important. And uh, percent composition is just finding out one part of a molecule, what it contributes percentage wise to the whole. To the whole mass of the molecule. Peace. So click the button. I turn off the video. Yeah. Yo, turn